live as you want to be. All right, so what we're doing now is we've given this Ranger Raptor a full correction using fab polish and pop a cut in some tighter spots. And now we're gonna take Plebeus panel prep and we're just gonna soak down these panels. And we're gonna use this panel prep to start removing any leftover and excess polish and some smearing. And then we'll go back through and get that streak free finish. It's like too easy to use. You're making ceramic coating too easy. This is without a doubt the most important part too. I mean, this is, aside from paint correction, this is where you get the longevity out of it. You know, if you're not using a proper panel prep, you'll turn a seven year coating into a six month application. That is just cherry. That's so nice. And this is, like I said, just the wet application. We're gonna come back in once we've done the whole car with the wet application and really just Hit it one more time, that's where we make sure we're cherry. Okay. I gotta imagine the thing that people like most about using this product is the work time. Solution, and you kind of are under control of the alcohol evaporating. This is just on the panel until you start to work it. Yep, it's a... Uh... It's got that really nice stickiness to it. It's not dripping or anything like that. It, just, it stays where you spray it. Yeah, when we first came out with it, uh, there was a couple of uh, people that were yapping on the internet. They were like, oh, it's just a 50-50 IPA blend. I'm like, you are... Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> when you actually work with it, it's completely different. And again, I mean, we've been talking all week about how important it is to be using alcohol during your detime process. But when you're using a dedicated panel prep like this, there is really no comparison to something like this versus a a mixed brew of an alcohol nature. And again, it's all about the, uh, the user experience. It just works completely differently. And something you can tell right away is, uh, and I was explaining to Aaron, when I buff off the fab polish during this correction process, I'm not doing a perfectly clean panel. I'm purposely leaving some residue on the panel a, so I can use it as a guide to make sure we're doing all the decontamination with the panel prep as possible. But B, because when I come in with the panel prep, I'm using it as a lubricant. So it's a less dry contact rag to actual paintwork and there's less chance for it to scratch a micro swirl. That is an excellent point. I never even thought about that. What's that? The lubrication of, you know, in the removal of, of the leftover residue stuff, that they, you do run that risk of micro Yeah, and, and I think that's where, I mean, you got all this, and you know, some go, these people like, oh, you know, I do it, and then I touch it, and I'm scratching it. Like, A, you're not using quality microfibers. B, maybe you're not in as clean of an atmosphere. And, because uh, this has these emulsifying agents in it that kind of bundle it all up as it's moving. So you're not just moving it around, it's like packaging it in saran wrap like right. as it's going. Yeah, know? we use those surfactants that we uh, implemented into the uh, 
the Hydra and the Apex. Um, the, the, the Peleus was actually what kind of uh, catapulted us into being able to use, because we use a really, really, really cool surfactant in the Peleus to accomplish exactly what you were just saying. And then we were like, well, why can't we use it in the other products as well? And it's definitely gone, taking our products to the next level. And it smells good. It's like, like you're saying, people sitting there talking about, oh, it's isopropyl. It's not, I mean, the second you spray, you're like, all right, there's a whole other chemical that you don't know and understand that's going at work here, you know? Yep. We evolved it, man. We evolved it. It's the name of the game. Now for this step, I like to use one rag for about half the car. Because again, this is where we're just, it's, it's as you can see, we're, we're making this wet, where we're doing a very wet removal and just consistently going back and forth. And even though the car is perfectly clean and everything, you get a lot more effectiveness when you continue using clean rags. That's how you can make sure that you react in the same on your first fender as you will be on your last panel. Because the plebeus is really not a ton of necessity for this second step, but we always want to ensure proper adhesion. So we're going to go through over with another fresh, clean microfiber and just do extremely lightness. Like you try to finish off a window, and you just get it to be as cherry perfect as possible. And that's where we're going to come in. We're going to let that flash for a bit too. I like to give it like 10 minutes before you touch it again, and then we'll come in and start doing it. Thank you. This is just one of the many thousands of voices that are in my head going, hey, where's the party? So right now what we're doing is we have Plebeus. Well, there's no B in that, it's Peleus. Okay. So Peleus. Right, so right now what we're doing is we have Peleus just sprayed directly on the microfiber, another fresh clean microfiber. And we're just going back over all these panels with super light pressure, just to make sure we have a nice streak-free finish here. Okay, I don't want to swell your head or anything, but you do pretty amazing work. Just wait till we get the ceramic coating on there, man. This color is really going to dance too, because this color is like 100% flake dependent. I mean, you get the color from this car, from that metal flake that's on here. Mm -hmm. And because the ceramics reflect more light than actual paintwork does, it's really gonna make that metal flake just dance under the light. Mm. 
And just want it all. And just super light pressure. This is just like that final chef's kiss step. This is how we make sure that we have a 100% decontaminated, clean, no wax, no residue, no streak, no nothing surface before we introduce the ceramics to it. It should almost feel dry. So we just come through and just gone. That's how we get that perfect adhesion with Kronos. And that adhesion is how you get maximum lifespan. I mean, of course, the maintenance is arguably more important when it comes to seven years down the line, but this is how you can make sure your customers are leaving with more offers. Washing my with some panel prep. Oh. Before we actually touch the applicator and start coating. All right. I try to kind of get a little over dramatic when I coat. It's something I like to do as I'm working, and I do glass. For, I do paint work first, and then I come into the glass. So as I'm working, I'll put my fingers up and kind of post up on the vehicle, on the glass work. Sure. But I try to make sure I don't leave any oils and residue behind as I'm going, just so it's less prep going forward. Especially if I'm going to be coating the glass of the same night, you don't want to be spraying panel prep all over a freshly coated panel. Makes sense. And then uh, this has been sitting for about 10, 15 minutes after we've done our full panel prep. So we're just gonna come on over. We have our fresh bottle of Kronos. We have fresh tape down on our working station. Crack it open. And I like to always start with a relatively generous amount and then start on a smaller panel as I'm working. And this is of course 2.0, which is a whole different application style. It's just fun. Butter on a wet pan. Greasy pan, hot pan. Butter on a hot, hot, hot pan. Hot pan. And we're just gonna go direct to that page. Now, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call it the shiny stuff. We're gonna do everything gloss on this initial pass through. I'm not gonna come back in and do these uh, these panel pieces as well. I'm just kind of making sure we have the enough product on the applicator as we're going through. This matte finish stuff kind of tends to suck it up a little bit more as you're going. But we still want to coat that kind of in the same pass. Take this, put this back on our workstation. Now it can immediately come in since this is already, it's already flashing off. A little hard to see this from camera just yeah. because of the amount of light we're actually working with in here. And then we're just gonna immediately start our removal process. In 2.0, it's just literally too easy. Yeah, you're just buffing it. Like it's it, just it, too it easy. It looks like zero effort. It's not grabbing. Is it grabbing at all? No, not at all. And a really, really important trick, especially with working with ceramics, and Aaron saw me do it, is I puff up my microfibers. So after I pull them out, get them all nice, I go over with a tornador, and I spray down the area, and it kind of puffs them up and makes them super, super thick, and it's a much simpler removal process. I do that with everything, but it really does make the difference when working with ceramics. And it gives you kind of more working time with the rag as well, rather than just having to go through one every 10, 15 minutes. And then uh, after that initial wipe down, I come down with a second clean rag. 
and we're just kind of again being a little dramatic making sure we don't have any rainbowing or heavy spots left on that panel and then boom that'll be it for that and now we're going to immediately come back through on this panel and we're going to do this matte fender and this matte scoop as well and then going forward we're going to do it all together okay so we're just going to hop this right onto there real quick And uh, again, using the same product right on this matte finish. It's probably the coolest part about working with Kronos is it's an all surface coating. Matte paint, plastics, gloss plastics, glass. It does not matter. So rather than needing $600 worth of individual products to do a vehicle, one bottle. It's been tested up to 1200 degrees, so it's great on wheels as well. Yeah, I don't understand why there's a lot of companies out there that seem to think that you need to have 14 different ceramic coatings that essentially do the same thing. Like I, I have zero problems with Kronos on my windows, on plastic trim. Yeah, it's, it's what I use on everything. And you know, there was a time before Kronos existed when that wasn't the case. And some of these ceramics you would put on trim and it would look good as you're doing it. And then you come out the next morning, gray. It would turn brand new trim into gray oxidized, just junk is the best way to put it. And it was a hassle to get that off. And we're gonna come right back in again. Just quick little double tap there. And that's a fender done. Boom. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You were right about that, uh, that gold flake. Yeah, it makes the flake, I mean, it, this isn't even cured yet. This is still wet, yeah. you know. It's, you really get that effect once it's been cured overnight, but it's, it's instantaneously different. It's just, it really makes that flake pop. And again, I mean, that's where the color comes from on this truck. This truck is green because of all the flake. Sure. That's kind of just like a style. I mean, we need more coating. There's really no rhyme or reason of what we can and can't do first, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I'm using the vinyl here since it's a darker base. Right. To look for the flash. And it's, it's just starting right around here. So I'll give it like a 15 more seconds or so, and then we'll start that one. Oh, yeah, 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 you can see it. Yeah, like, like, I know. Coming it's coming R, you can see the rainbow. Yep. And part of this is my lighting. Uh, you know, we're working so intense. We got 16 8K LEDs over top of us, plus 16,000 lumens sitting to the side of us, you know? Right. I'm sure you can kind of see the camera. It gets so confused, it starts backlighting, right? Yeah. Mine does the same thing. Again, we're doing these uh, these matte trim pieces with the vehicle now. That is just separate for the very first application to kind of make sure we have enough product moved around that applicator. And again, same thing, Kronos. It's going over top of the paint, the plastic tail light, the vinyl, the matte, all in one. One of the really cool features of Kronos is that <clears throat> you can see the difference between um, the painted surface and the matted surface where it doesn't really, it doesn't make the matted surface glossy because it, it, that you know, defeats the purpose of, of your matted finish. Absolutely. It enhances what's underneath it. So if it's supposed to be glossy, like up here in the paint, look at that. It's incredibly shiny, but you go down here and it's just kind of like a deeper matted finish. And it's kind of funny you bring that up because a lot of stuff nowadays they'll sell as matte and it's not, it's satin. It has a semi-gloss to it naturally. This is one of the few things where you can tell there is no light refraction. It is purposely absorbing and dissipating that light out that panel. 
and it's not turning it into satin. There's no gloss behind it at all. Where the vinyl is a satin vinyl and it's kind of bringing that satin back up to life, you know? Not that this is in bad shape or anything, it's brand new, but it gives it a lot more color clarity in my opinion. And you can just see the clear difference between, you know, what's supposed to be glossy and matte right there as you're working it. Sure. It's like, like the vinyl lettering. Yeah. That, that, that wrapper just looks crisp and clean. That's probably the perfect word for it is crisp. Mm -hmm. And uh, something I, I always like doing this for my customers because, uh, I mean, this is actually a relatively difficult vehicle to maintain if you weren't using a ceramic product because you have the paintwork you have to maintain. You have a matte finish you have to maintain and you have vinyl you have to maintain. All three of which respond differently to all different products. They're all different skill sets to work. Now that we're encasing it all in ceramic coating, he's going to use the same soap. He did all of it all at once, no problem. He's going to go over top of Titan with this all at once, no problem. He's established that poor baseline and he just gets to piggyback off of that. Terrific. You might see that uh, I kind of, on these bigger panels, I do a little bit more work with that second rag. But uh, something to keep in mind is I'm doing no pressure. I mean, this, this rag could slip out under my hand at any time. And this is strictly like a gliding to make sure that we're 100% smooth and well dissipated and removed. Nice. All right. Fantastic. Uh, all right, you're live. So, so far, we've painted the driver's side paintwork. And now we're going to do the driver's side glass work. Same product, same applicator. Just Kronos directly over top of the glass. Go through the middle, through this vinyl, right down the side. Come back through. And then of course, final touch, mirror. Mm. And then we're gonna use this back window to monitor our flashing. And this nice dark surface. I see the rainbow. Right there, you get the I rainbow coming in right through rainbow. here. And then again, if you if you kind of like tilt down here, Aaron, you can see it's it's all flashed yeah, there. I, I, I got a yeah. perfect angle for this. So we're just good to go, good to remove. That is wild, just like that. And again, probably my favorite part about using 2.0 is I'm not gonna immediately come in on this glasswork with my second rag. I'm gonna tackle it all as a whole and then do it all as a whole with the second rag as well. You get a lot more working time. And on the glass, it's important to use nice firm pressure coming around these edges because you want to make sure the edge of that rag dips right under those gaskets so you can get that edge to edge install. Now I like to just come over the edge of that paint work that we were just working on, just in case we accidentally picked a little product up on that. Come through on the vinyl. Don't forget the mirror. And that's installed. Shazam. I just like that, again, same thing, super light pressure. Just give it one final skim. Helps pick up any loose lint too. Ceramic coating always has that little static cling effect for whatever's in the air. Absolutely love a ceramic coated side view mirror, man. Perfect. Yeah, so what are we doing here? All right, so we're on the uh, back end of the Ranger here, 
And uh, this has a full black plastic rear bumper as well as the same matte finish paint. And uh, we're gonna coat this with the same pad using Kronos. And we're just gonna go over the entirety of it, both these uh, black plastics, the matte paint work. We're just gonna treat the whole unit together. Perfectly safe to put on these backup sensors. Just gonna run it all the way across. And something like this is typically the last thing I'll coat with a pad like this. So this pad isn't going to go back onto any of the painted surface or be used again, aside from treating something porous like these black plastics. Part of that reason is because Kronos actually bonds to these so well, you'll kind of see it lifts some of the dye, plastic, embedded dirt, just this type of stuff that doesn't actually typically come out. It pulls it right off as it's penetrating into that. Now, once we've got that coated edge to edge, we'll just go put this back on the work table, come back and buff that off. For this in particular, we're going to target the actual painted pieces first, because we're gonna let this uh, ceramic kind of dwell into these plastics a little bit, let them really soak it up. And that's how you're gonna get that real long-term protection on these back plastics here. And then we're just gonna come in up top. And when we're doing these uh, plastic coatings with Kronos, we're not looking to remove all the material. We're looking to just make sure there's an even application, make sure it's in all the cracks and crevices and all that sort of stuff. Um, because we don't really need to worry about any sort of high spots or anything with this. You kind of want to leave a little more product on these sort of uh, spongy like surfaces. And then we'll come in with our secondary rag, buff down those actual painted pieces. And now this is ceramic coated, just like the paintwork is. Fantastic. Great job.